So, uh, I made a mistake editing the first episode. I completely skipped an entire puzzle in the footage, because what I did is I was I was messing with that one Y-shaped level that took me a while. But in the middle of that, I went off and solved a different puzzle and came back, and I didn't catch that. So, I just skipped that. Whoops. I thought maybe be able to leave the puzzle because we saw, like, an external location before, where it seemed like maybe you'd push a pipe into there, into the, into the grandpa's room. I was curious about that. It's even framed like no escape. Based on the idea that like, you know, you can't escape when you solve it. I'm gonna come back later. They gave me a branching path. Let's optionally go the other way first and see if I can come back when I have a better idea. Looks like this is also a dead end though. So it's gonna be a pretty temporary dead end. Presumably the one on top has to be on the bottom. This one I'm pushing right now has to be on the bottom because of the direction where the horizontal is. In the pipe shape. Ah. Creates a new problem, doesn't it? There we go. Some of these other ones are so easy. That throws me off how difficult the other one actually is. Also, now we get a reinforcement of why the game waits for me to leave the puzzle before it tells me how that I've progressed. Because this puzzle up here requires me to actually escape. So this is like the final boss of the first level. <laughs> Elbow bump. Neat. Okay, what's the trick here? Seems like a really small room. The first thing that comes to mind is to put this, the top left uh, pipe in the bottom right corner, the bottom right little pipe in the top left corner because they are already matched those configurations, but that assumption same, seems rather dangerous. But there is the question of how do I move these things around, anyway. Because if I- if they touch a wall, I lose. Generally. Like, boom, you lose. Because you can't get it off the wall forever now. Well, <laughs> that's uh, our list of actions a little bit. That traps it and you can't get it out. Uh, I was like, maybe if I push it, from above, it'll roll on its side, but I can't get there because this guy's here. They're always in, they're always there. Everywhere you go, the two of them are like attached to each other. I'm bad at the genre is what I'm, I think I'm learning. But damn it. At this point, I'm just dedicated to be the only people person to cover it on YouTube because nobody is covering this game, which I feel terrible about. I might even just cover World 1 and upload that and then come come back later, when I have had time to finish another world. Uh, like, between other playthroughs of puzzle games, because I make such slow progress this one. But I feel bad that I haven't put up any videos at all. Because I've been playing this since it came out, periodically. Ah, shit. Boy, do we have no room to work with. So if you push it down there, you're definitely stuck. most space we've had between them so far, but I don't know if that actually accomplishes anything for us. That gets you on your side. That's probably good. I might have done it. Ah! Uh, oh, a little hasty. Aha! 
Uh, I'm a genius. I'm a mega genius, and this game makes me feel like the smartest person. Uh, I'm already in World 2, aren't I? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, guess so. Technically. Last one. Yeah, none of these have gotten me stuck again as much as that one did. Maybe I'll beat the whole game now. Maybe that'll be the only one that I could- that I genuinely couldn't think of for the longest time. I'm, I'm just like, I know, I'll just push it directly at the obvious direction that I'm supposed to push it in and just assume it's right. Oh, I have to push it that far. I don't have a choice. That's just me walking into the room. That's the bare minimum of what has to happen at the beginning of this puzzle. Okay. And now it's impossible. <laughs> Here's an idea. I, uh, I'm thinking of can I push it on the sh on its short end and just have a giant pole sticking in the air and then have tons of room everywhere. But I don't know if there's a position in the room where I'll have access to that like that. Maybe. Oh. Oh wait, no, I can press B to undo that. It's fine. Well, that's bad, though. You, make it not fall over. There we go. That'll give me a little bit of leeway. I think. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at all that room we got now. Alright. I'm just gonna go stash you over here, where you're safe. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried about. Uh, there we go. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to make it fall over, though. Maybe I should do it from over here? Now nah, I'm trapped. I don't know, it feels like it is the key. Let's see, if I push with you, it won't go over though. There we go, then push you back and I'll have room to grab you. Oh my god, I'm doing it, you guys. I'm playing- I'm playing the Sokoban. Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Ah. <laughs> this is actually really satisfying, that took a long ass time. Didn't get stuck in most of it for that long, it's just this fucking puzzle! Uh, no. You, pull Q. You were the hardest thing that's ever happened. I don't know. I could not figure it out. And then one day it just... It just finally... Well, I say one day. Today, it finally clicked. And I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, what... Because ah. the big thing was I couldn't figure out how to get the two... I had to figure out how to get the two vertical ones left of the L shape. The the joint one or whatever you want to call it. The, the angle one. I could not get them around each other. Because the dimensions were so limited. I beat the world. Who are you? Nice one, bud. I said nice one, bud. Seriously, you're doing great. Is that is that me? Am I in the video game? Oh no, they got, they found me. Aren't you cold? I'd offer you my jacket, but I'm cold. Nobody else seems to be. They have a monument to... Pipe. They have a pipe monument of piping. What? Who is this? Oh no, my dead grandpa! <laughs> there was, my dead grandpa just disappeared. What'll I do? 
Fast travel here anytime with the pause menu. Look how far we are. We're in the dark blue zone now. World one, two, three of four, five, six, seven. Or world, uh, well, world three of six. The last one's probably like a boss fight mega puzzle. It looks really big. Oh my god, how many pipe pieces are going to be there? I'm worried. This looks like a Pokemon map, doesn't it? Are you from the next zone or something? You're the circle, which means easy, right? And then the house is medium. And then... Ooh, these are all mediums, aren't they? New heights. I'm teasing you guys. I'm teasing you guys with the future. Ooh. Back alley. Are any of these listed as hard? Are they all just houses again? Are we done with hard puzzles? Archway. Oh, that puzzle was... The color scheme of the next world, confusingly. And also the grandpa one that's supposed to be easy is listed as being a different one. Maybe World 2 was supposed to be hard, because it featured puzzles that had the red, the hard symbol in it, which I've not seen in this entire world, interestingly enough. Also, I think I did this puzzle before I did any of the World 2 ones, and it looks like it's a World 3 one. So the world, the layout of the map is... odd? Sure. Yeah, because this one's green, which is the next region, but I have access to it immediately, and it's listed as easy. Revolution. Oh. Right, it's a tutorial room. That's that's why it's easy. <laughs> it's teaching you how to rotate pieces. There's a piece rotator! Oh my goodness. The impossible has happened and they've given me the ability to rotate pieces. Let's start at the beginning or something. Oh, that's weird. Like I've... That gives me access to the next zone just like that. That's kind of like... It's a really non-linear game, huh? I don't even know if you have to beat all the levels, or if you just have to beat the mandatory ones. I assume you have to beat all of them, because you're fixing their plumbing, aren't you? Just skipping some of them seems like a weird idea. Oh, goodness. So it's called New Heights because that thing is way up in the air. Which I assume I reach by doing something like this. Yeah. In fact, I think this one has to go here. And this L shape has to go over here, and that's basically the puzzle. I think I just need to make you not fall over for a bit. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> I'm blowing my mind with how fast some of these are going right now. Someone's gonna look at the puzzle I was stuck on for like a month and be like, Hey, I solved that in three seconds. I'm like, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Why does my brain not work? Top shelf. But I think that last one was easy because it's a tutorial to teach you how to do the, the things. Ooh, exciting. I think you're supposed to scrape that one over so it hits the other one. I think that's why it's called top shelf. So you need to... You gotta do that thing that vertically challenged people do where they need help touching things. I guess. I live with somebody who, like, climbs on counters in order to get to the top shelf. They have to stand on the counter in order to get something up there. I'm like, why do you keep putting stuff up there? And uh, It doesn't seem to phase them that uh, they could just not <laughs> put stuff up there. Not quite what I was going for. Oops. Push you up one more, then over, and ooh, isn't that nice? Except I didn't actually make that one go in the right spot before. All right. One thing I'm curious about is whether I'm supposed to keep this here and push that block up one or if maybe it's more compatible to push the block off the cliff and then use the block to be right here and then push this one over one. I don't know. I need to figure out how to scrape that off though. Somehow. We could transfer to this other side of the thing. And then I lose. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I don't lose. I can get you because you're such a crazy shape. I can get you back by pushing you like, not like that. That doesn't work. Uh, no, I, I think I might be screwed. Wait, no, I'm not screwed because I, I can make you stand up. There we go. Haha. -ha. I just had to realize that I am a genius man. All along. And then do what I did before. Yes. Oh my goodness, we're beating levels. <laughs> this is like such a... This is gonna feel like such a pointless amount of enthusiasm for success. Because you guys don't fully feel the time I spent. I was I was listening to pod like during that other one. I don't know if I'll do a time lapse or an edit or what, but I was like listening to podcasts and watching YouTube videos and just fiddling around, just fiddling, trying to just encounter. And by watching YouTube videos, I mean like like irrelevant YouTube videos, like podcasts on like actually yeah usually video podcasts. Uh, and I was just fiddling around, just trying to find a different input, basically, for the longest time. I'm like, ah, there must be some option I literally have not noticed exists yet. Wow, so that part's easy. But the trick is that I need to get you to push that one over, because it's suspended in the air. I'm walking under it. I have to slide it over here. It can't stand up because it's under it. Interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to reach it exactly. If I push it in like this, then I can't get behind it. Yeah, yeah, I lost. Alright. But I don't have a- yeah, I don't have another device to push it with to make it be in the right configuration. I can't do it like this because it won't stand up because it's under the other pipe, which means it pushes. This is something new. So I probably want to rotate it while it's over here, right? If I do it while it's over here, then I could push it horizontally through, if I can make it stand up in the right position. Uh, how though? Does it matter which way it's facing? This is what I did before. Don't fall in the same trap, dummy. How do I do this, though, actually? I probably do want to, uh... Oh, no, it's fine. If I have it standing up on this side, there's one buffer of square, which means that when it lays down, it won't touch the wall, which means I don't have to worry about it being stuck. So I'm fine there. Do I simply just stand it up and push it up to the wall, and then it can't... F That's all I have to do, kind of. But then put it in the right... Uh, here's where I'm stuck, yeah. I can push it like this, but it's going the wrong way. Oh, wait, no, I'm... If I do it here... Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. That probably took me significantly longer than it should have, because I... It did occur to me that that's actually kind of a simple solution. Not sure what I was doing for a second there. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I got it. I just had to get in the right bread space. A bread space. Head space. I'm bad at sequential puzzles just across the board. But at least these have spatial reasoning in an interesting way. Similar to Steven Sausage Roll, as opposed to like a tile sliding puzzle or a Rubik's Cube, which I hate. 
These are these I don't hate, I'm just bad at, which is very different. I play a lot of things I'm bad at. What is happening here? Is this the one called Back Alley? Is that what this is that what they said? Yeah, back alley. Alright, we're dealing with verticality again, it would appear. Seems straightforward what's supposed to happen, as far as the positioning goes. The the, the bendy ones are gonna make an L like a an arch that goes through here. In fact, if I just push them on their sides, they'd only uh, if those rocks weren't in the way, I would just push them once like this, and then they'd only be one square away from their their position. So they just they'd be perfectly fitting these, except they'd be in this row. Then I could push them with this pipe, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, so I need to figure out what to do that with them now. Then when I'm done, these two small pipes will just be in the bottom part. In fact, that's actually not... There's no ambiguity there. It has to be that way. Because, uh... If it didn't go that way... Yeah, it has to go that way because... Both rows are on the same height as each other, so they have, it has to be two of the same piece. Uh... And these pieces are shown, you can see right now, they're too wide to fit on the bottom side. So yeah, that's that's where they're gonna go. If I push you like this, you, you trap the other one kind of, don't you? Or perhaps not. If you pushed it from below the top part, it would roll up on its side, giving you some space. The problem being that that's probably not the side to do that on because there's no room. Yeah, they have room. They gave me room on the right side, so I can do this, giving me a lot more mobility. Whereas I'm not- I'm not equally capable of doing that with the other one. Just wanted to not lay back down. I need to create room so I can reach. There we go. That's the beginnings of making sense, of sorts. I'm trying to fit them through the middle if I can. Ideally. And yeah, now it can't fall over anyway, so we're, we have some freedom here. I think I can just jam you in there. Ah. Problem. How will I do that with both of them if they have to fit to the same 2x2 two two space? Same problem as the previous one with L's where I had to fit them vertically through a thing. Uh, I can't make them stand on their sides. They have to stand in that kind of position. I see. They gave me an out, because this top part has a divot on top, so I can push it back down. So that's out of the way. How am I going to get that out? I did this wrong. <laughs> I did this backwards is what happened. Uh, let's go all the way around. Shit, no, let's, let's go even further back. The pipe had to be below it, not above it. I was pushing it with the pipe, not, not, uh... My, my error is I started using the pipe to block it from falling over, but I was pushing it with the pipe the original time. That's how you get to actually go the right way. And at that point, I've basically solved it. 
Yeah, I even have an exit, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah! This game's clicking or something. Or maybe there was only one hard puzzle, I don't know. For a while there. Did I just finish Blue World? Blue's over!